Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Cami Farrell, and you're watching NGTV's Online Report. Yesterday, China passed a new national security law in Hong Kong. Many fear that this law could be used to override existing political and civil freedoms. The law was unanimously passed by the National People's Congress, which is Beijing's top lawmaking body. A draft of the law has not been made public at this time. This means a majority of the people in Hong Kong have not seen the details of the new law. Xinhua News Agency previously reported that the law could criminalize offenses like secession, working against the central Chinese government, terrorism, and foreign alliances. Hong Kong's chief executive Carrie Lam refused to comment on the progress of the bill during her weekly press conference this morning, saying it would, quote, be inappropriate to respond to questions while the NPC meeting was still in progress. This law comes the day before the anniversary of Hong Kong's handover from British colonial rule to China in 1997. The former Minneapolis police officers involved in the killing of George Floyd appeared in court today. At least one of the four pleads not guilty. CNN's Esme Murphy has more on this story. The brief form filed by Alexander King's attorney says he plans to plead not guilty, that he was acting in self-defense and was using reasonable and authorized use of force under Minnesota law. Just three hours earlier, former Officer King, accompanied by his attorney, Thomas Plunkett, walked into the hearing. Outside, his mother and relatives embraced, telling WCCO they were here to support him. King and former Officer Thomas Lane, seen here entering the courtroom, are both free after having posted $750,000 bails. Attorneys for Lane and King, both rookie officers, say their clients tried to get Derek Chauvin to stop kneeling on George Floyd's neck. Chauvin appeared via Zoom from the maximum security prison in St. Cloud. Former officer Tu Tao is being held in the Hennepin County Jail and appeared in person. The attorney for Chauvin said he wants a gag order barring all parties and public officials from commenting about the case. Judge Peter Cahill acknowledged that continued comments by public officials about the case is more likely to push it out of Hennepin County. The attorney for Tu Tao said he would file a motion to move the trial, and he criticized the prosecution for not wanting TV cameras in court. I find it ironic that the attorney general's office and the rest of the public officials who've been commenting publicly on this case and leaking sensitive information now want to keep the trial not open to the public. The trial for these four men is set to begin on March 8th of next year. A Harris County prosecutor is out of a job after a controversial social media post. CNN's Steve Campion has more on this story. Since 1992, Kaylin Williford served as a prosecutor with the Harris County District Attorney's Office, eventually becoming trial bureau chief. Eyewitness News learned today, Williford quit after this share on social media. A Facebook account linked to Williford shared a photo from the page America's Mom. The caption reads in part, quote, never forget, Nazis tore down statues, banned free speech, blamed economic hardships on one group of people, instituted gun control. Sound familiar? End quote. In an email to employees, DA Kim Og wrote, quote, when speech made in the privacy of one's home or on social media contradicts our core values, we take action. While not our intent to involve ourselves in employees' personal lives, when their social media or private actions publicly contradict and violate this office's policies, the law allows us, as an employer, to investigate and implement graduated sanctions, ranging from education and counseling up to termination, end quote. It's disappointing, I think is the word for me, uh, because I got to know Kaylin pretty well. Uh, she, was one of, she was one of the most talented lawyers in the office. And, uh, you know, I, I, I trusted her in court uh, to do the right thing. And I don't think there was any indication that in any of her court-related decisions uh, that there was any hint of racism. Tom Berg is a former first assistant. He now works as a defense attorney, mostly in federal court. He says the DA's office is like many private employers. There are written policies surrounding a person's presence on social media. You can't make those comparisons. So that it, it was just wrong in every way. And the hint that it was related to Black Lives Matter was, you know, in, in this day and time, it, it, I can't understand why she did it. Williford issued a statement apologizing for the post, and she says after thinking about it, she decided to resign. Voting season is here for the Democratic and Republican Party runoffs. Texans will have the opportunity to vote during the primary runoffs on U.S. Senate candidates, U.S. representatives, judges, and other local positions. 
Although the runoffs will be held on July 14th, early voting began yesterday. It will last until July 10th, but it will not be held on either the 3rd or the 4th due to the holiday. To learn more about eligibility, candidates, and poll locations, you can visit the website below for more information. Last week, following an executive order, restaurants were forced to return to 50% capacity while bars closed. Governor Abbott spoke more about these closures yesterday. We look at the data. Obviously, we saw the incredible spike over the past couple of weeks, both in the number of people testing positive as well as the hospitalizations and the positivity rate that I told you in advance that if the positivity rate got over 10%, I was going to have to take action, and I did. So we will continue to follow the data. Importantly, part of the data that was revealed to us was the fact that so many people who were testing positive for COVID-19, they were contracting it in bar type settings. And that's exactly why we had to take the action about bars that we did. So we will continue to follow data to find out where the settings may be that lead to people contracting COVID-19 to determine whether or not additional action needs to be taken. We also want to see the outcome of the shutdowns that were just announced. Hopefully, the announcements just made will be sufficient to begin to uh, bend the curve of COVID-19. If not, we all need to understand additional actions will be necessary. Abbott says he has plans on placing more restrictions if needed, but at this point he will be, quote, stepping back. Coronavirus cases are still rising across North Texas. Dallas County had a new record high of 572 cases in Dallas yesterday. This marks the fourth day of continuous record-breaking cases, topping the previous day high of 570 cases set on Sunday. Tarrant County reported 263 cases, dropping from last week's 360 cases per day. Denton County confirmed 70 additional cases on Monday. If you missed the opportunity to be tested in Denton for COVID-19, there are more options across Denton County. There are a few places that have free COVID-19 testing, and this interactive map can show you all of those sites and others in the area. If you're needing to find a place to be tested or want more information on what the sites are offering, visit the website below. Today is social media day, but let's be honest, for most of us, every day is social media day. This method of communication has been observed since 2010. Social media helps people around the world stay in touch and share their lives with family and friends. It is also a tool used by politicians, organizations, and charities to reach the public. So how can you take advantage of all that social media has to offer? Message a long lost friend, watch a silly cat video, learn something new, or better yet, get your voice out there into the world. And of course, let the world know what your favorite parts of social media are with the hashtag social media day on whatever platform you choose. You can follow us on Twitter at NTTV underscore news for the latest updates. Thank you for watching and be sure to join us back here again tomorrow for more of NTTV's online report.